Hey, hey, hey. Hi Elle, I'm Hannah from Shrimps and welcome to my home. This beautiful tiled table um, was one of my first purchases. It's by a brand called Icon and I've actually used it for a few shoots for my shrimps jewellery because um, I love the grid-like pattern against the sort of pearly, pearly jewels. Above this table is a painting by Fei Weiwei. It's a really special piece. I worked with her quite a while ago on a show, so she painted this especially for me. And um, and then it became a wedding present. We had a kind of wedding list, and I put this painting on to see anyone want to help with this. These chairs are vintage. They were actually found by my parents, and they were in their house. So me and my brother, in particular, fought over them when they no longer had a place for them. Um, but they are here. <laughs> it's a beautiful lime green boucle wool. I love the pop it brings. I love it with the um, against the oak, and I particularly love it with my shrimp's blanket. This blanket is inspired by um, one of my best-selling cardigans, the Bennett cardigan. We did it in, at Christmas. It was quite last minute. We also had hot water bottles, um, and they were a great success. Hanging on the wall is a Perry Ogden photograph. Pony kit. The walls of this room are setting plaster pink. It's Farrow and Ball. It's a colour that I've used a lot. It reminds me of sand. I was on Harbour Island this year and there's a beach called Pink Sands and it's like when the sun is a certain level, it's like sunset and everything looks and it's that kind of colour which I really love. The lights are from Vinteria and they're a vintage designer called Le Clint. I brought these lights and the guy messaged me and said, oh, I just live around the corner. And now I had them the next morning. So they're my super speedy <laughs> delivery lights and that kind of made me very happy. I love a mantelpiece. We sourced this fireplace from Ireland and I love the white markings and it looks like fossils. I mean, I'm sure it is fossils. And I love that I can decorate it um, with all of my favorite things. This is a Claudia Rankin candelabra. It's a leopard and it was one of our wedding presents and I absolutely love it. This is an essential in every house. Um, a Santa Maria Novella Melograno terracotta. It's their signature scent and it's my favourite. This mirror is by Sarah Balanium. She specialises in bathrooms and tiles. I love red and pink together so that's also another reason why I painted this walls. the walls that colour. We've been here just under a year and a half. And the people before had a similar taste level as well. So there are definite design elements that they put in that I really love. And the work we needed to do was painting. So this room is a new a new one for me. It's Pinoir. I think of it as a sort of dusky lilac. It changes in light and I find it very calming and I, a really good base for all of my prints. I'm particularly interested in folk art and craft. And this table by Matthew Cox, when I saw it, it felt sort of folky to me. And I love how you can see the pattern in the wood. And, and I love how the sort of soft edges. It's perfect for a toddler. These are my glassette coasters. They're by David Perry. He's based in Cornwall and he has an amazing technique of melting these glass squares together. The art um, are pieces that are very special to me. Hugo Guinness flowers, they were wedding presents. He's a relative of my husband's, so it's really nice, and we have quite a few of his prints throughout the house. Next to it is a Paula Rago print that is definitely one of my most special pieces. It's based on Paula Rago's nursery rhyme series, and this one is Ride a Cock Horse to Banbury Cross. This is a collection of vintage Guinness adverts. Um, my brand is called Shrimps, and my husband's surname is Guinness. And we, for our wedding, we created a pub um, called the Arthur's Arms and then there was a sign that was hung up saying shrimps loves Guinness and down here are just little trinkets that I've um, collected from our holidays and memories this is our wedding invitation drawn by Luke Edward Hall this is the downstairs bathroom it's absolutely tiny but it's one of my favorite rooms in the house this sink was sourced by the previous owners from Portugal and it's their famous blue and white ceramic that was already in and then I decided from that to carry on this blue and white theme and I had my eye on this beautiful Lake August wallpaper. It's called Sea Garden and I just find the colour 
and the repeat pattern it's so beautiful this is my son Marlo's room so this wallpaper was in our old house it's fenced in I just love the way it moves um, so and it's it's busy but it's I kind of see it as a neutral backdrop I don't know why it's still what really works with lots of art everywhere so these are all things I've collected for him lots of vintage pieces this is my husband and I and Lionel knitted for the top of our wedding cake this shell actually our artist name is baby Jewish my friend had found her on Instagram she hand paints shells it was commissioned for us so it says Marlo's name and his date of birth and I'm there with him and drinking a Guinness having a picnic it sort of combined so many of my favorite things like Delft inspired miniatures painted on a shell it couldn't really be more perfect this is vintage Italian rattan wardrobe one of the first pieces I bought for Marlo's room from the Instagram seller Folly Chambre I love it with all his teddies on top Marlo and I are both very big fans of teddies. This is a shrimp's habitat rug. Um, it was our first collaboration. It is inspired by my doodle bag, which was an early design um, of shrimps. And it was inspired by nursery rhymes and dreams as a pumpkin, a sheep, a ram, a, a ring of daisies. I loved it so much when I designed it and then I just thought it was perfect to put in Marlowe's room. So our bed, it's an old Conran bed with a beautiful linen cover. The sheets are Tekla brown and pink, um, a colour combination that I love. Um, it's a vintage throw, um, some vulgar linen pillows and then these lamps are both by Matilda Goad. They were one of the first she ever made. Um, she always says I was her first customer me and her mum, um, but we, we've worked together a lot in the past and we're very good friends, so it's so nice having, having them next to our bed. And then on the walls, there's a painting of um, my favorite teddy, Dog Dog. There's this artist called Peter Jones and he specializes in painting antique bears, I have a passion for teddies and I love his work. And my husband commissioned him to paint Dog Dog who's not vintage, he's as old as me, but one day he will be. And I just love the idea of that painting and him going on to wherever they go, always together. I love the idea of this wall being really big and having these miniature, kind of miniature paintings. It's a vintage tub chair. He recovered it in this Rose Uniac boucle. In the second. And then this is another Spence Ten little pillow. Um, and I just, I love the colors all together. Um, above are some vintage wall lights that I got from Etsy and then in Pride of Place is this Craig, Craigie Aitchison print. Um, it's the most beautiful painting to wake up to. I personally think it's sunrise. It's just a really nice, beautiful image to look at first thing in the morning and there's a sense of hope and I love his colour palette. So it was so nice to show you guys around. I'm off now so I'll see you soon. Bye!